I went to a boot camp and I couldn't get a job. So I decided I'm going to go in and get a degree. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again one more time. So this is actually a comment that I received from one of the subscribers here at Coding Phase and basically said, I completed a boot camp in March 2020, COVID, all companies did a job freeze and I continue to learn. Did another boot camp 2022, no job, over 100 apps, maybe five interviews, no job. I figured instead of wasting more time in boot camps, I would just get a degree. I graduated in a few months. Now, let me ask you guys this. How much of a difference that degree is going to do for him? Let's just be honest. A degree does not guarantee you a job. You don't believe me? You could check on YouTube, TikTok, the amount of people that you see that's like, hey, man, I got my degree, but I can't find a job. I can't get hired. There's a lot of people going through that. So even getting a degree, it's not going to go in and change everything. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This guy's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, man. Listen. There's a lot of stuff that people tell you. They tell you, hey, man, you got to get this degree. It's going to be much better for you. But most companies, they want people who can actually hit the ground running. Now, you did say that you made over 100 applications. You got the two boot camps under your belt. But somehow in the middle of the pandemic where, to be honest with you, that was prime. Like I've seen people that could barely even code and still got a job somehow. Right. So if you were struggling there, that lets me know that guess what? There's things that you was missing. There's things that the boot camp didn't prepare you for. There's things that maybe they oversold you on the type of companies that you could get hired, you know? And the truth is that we're back to like 2015, 2016, where you actually got to build yourself up. You know, the budget is not there. You know, interest rates is high. Companies don't have money to burn anymore. Right now, if they're going to hire somebody, they need to have someone who can hit the ground running for a specific role, a specific position. You know, I always tell my students that come to codingphase.com is we got to focus on getting in. Now, I know people tell you, hey, you could get a $100,000 job, you could get a $90,000 job. Guess what? You might start with a $50,000, $60,000, $70,000, dollars job, and that's fine because in reality, you don't have no experience. They're taking basically a risk hiring somebody that has no experience. And I know a lot of people always say, yo, what happened to training people? What happened to going in and, and, and you know, taking somebody that's a beginner and, and helping them and mold them into the type of developer that they want you to become? Guess what? The budget's not there. The same way how right now you might be over here saying, hey, man, I'm not eating a Chipotle. You know what I mean? We, we about to hit up the, the, the deli, right? You used to hit the Chipotle, used to hit the, the Uber Eats. Now you're over here like, hey, man, let me go in and into this, this Spanish spot <laughs> where I could get a full plate, right, for six, seven dollars of food, right? Guess what? It, times is hard. And it's not just for you. It's for everyone, everybody in this economy. But that's the norm. It's, it, it's kind of always been like that. It's just like we was in such a high moment in the industry for development where, you know, you had the influencers, you had the people to, that's pushing you to get into a boot camp, the people who are selling a course or a program, right? Everybody wants to be part of this, right? Everybody's showing up with the granola, you know, <laughs> bowl of like, hey, I'm walking at Google, right? Even those people fucked it up for all of us that's in the game, okay? Because if you're walking around eating granola all day, when do you work? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People was like, yeah, I'm quiet quitting. I, I barely do any work at my job. Yeah, guess what? Now you fucked it up for everybody else who wants to work, right? Now they're throwing, you know, the algorithm books for you to go in and, and change a mobile menu. <laughs> There's dudes showing up to a job interview. It's like, yeah, we need an entry level developer and we want you to just, you know, help us with some landing pages. By the way, here's an algorithm <laughs> that's the same level as some dude getting paid $200,000, but you're getting a $60,000 job. Where, where does that make sense, right? Well, that's where we're at right now. Now, what can we do? We have to go in and look at the opportunities that's available to us, okay? 
Companies that are paying anywhere above $90,000, they're looking for people with experience. So that experience, you're going to have to get it in the small to medium-sized businesses and agencies, you know, working with things like WordPress, Drupal, Shopify. Maybe you could be doing, you know, email development, content management. You know, the amount of jobs that's out here for you to just manage a website. Now, I know it's not react it's not you building the latest and you know greatest code where a framework and working with ai but guess what that's going to help you go in and have experience you know and that's one thing that i want to say for anybody that's watching this you know if you're over here thinking like hey if i go into this degree and get myself you know this two-year degree or a bachelor's four years like you have to understand you got to be proactive you got to go to internships. You got to get some type of job where you're coding something before you could, you know, get the most bang out of that that degree. Because if not, you're just going to be out here like a lot of people. You know, if we look on, on TikTok, like I said, there's a lot of people going through the same thing. OK, and then it's not just in development. It's in every single career is because companies are not willing to just go in and start training people. OK, so you got to go in and show that you can do this work. So, again, I wanted to share this with you guys, because I know somebody that's watching this that's like, hey, man, I tried this online course. Hey, I tried this online service. Hey, I went to this boot camp. Hey, I went to this, this and that. Well, guess what? You haven't came to codingphase.com, right? We focus on realistic results. We see what's happening in the industry. You know, if you see any boot camp or anybody that's talking about development here, even on YouTube, they're constantly pushing becoming a full stack developer, becoming a front end developer with React. They're constantly pushing that, but they don't give you an actual answer to like, hey, but what happens when those jobs want you to have experience and you have no experience okay <laughs> like how do you get those jobs then right and that's what we go in and we focus on coding face in alternative things like content management email development shopify development right things that's going to help people get into the first job okay that's the only sole purpose of codingphase.com. Yes, we could teach you full stack. Yes, we could teach you everything that everyone else teaches, but we focus on this, okay? Because you can't get this job right now, right? If you decide, hey, man, I want to learn this skill, and you say, well, I want to focus on this because this is what pays the most, you can't get this job without this. You got to come in and start from here, build yourself up, and then from there, you could get into the full stack. You know, the degree in the boot camp is not going to guarantee you that. That's just the facts. Now, if you are like a young kid in, in, in college, right, the best thing that I will say is like, hey, man, definitely do internships. Definitely put yourself out there, network, work on projects that's completely different than what you're doing in school. Because if you're just going in and say, well, I got an A in my class, that shit doesn't cut it. You know, that doesn't tell an employer anything other than, okay, he showed up. Okay, he, he got a good GPA. It doesn't show anything. You got to really go in, either be at least in open source. You got to be uh, building some type of application that people are using. Like, imagine this. You show up to a, a job interview and you say, yeah, I built an application that has 20,000 users. Now, I haven't, you know, figured out how to monetize it. But God damn it, you got an application that 20,000 people are using right now. Okay. Or maybe you made money and you're like, hey, man, we actually generated, you know, $100,000 last year with this app, et cetera, right? And this is a side business that I created. You know what I'm saying? That right there shows a company, oh, this guy knows what he's doing. This guy's not one of the, the freaking zombie horde, right, that's trying to apply and, and ransack this job. No, this is a person that actually is going to be an asset to the team. We're not going to have to babysit him, Okay. So this is stuff that you got to start thinking about. Like, how do you go in and, and, and put yourself out there? Same thing like if you decided, hey, I can't get a job right now, but I could freelance the skills that I have. I could put myself out there. Maybe make like an extra $50, $100 per project. Guess what? You do two, three projects. That's an extra three, $400 in your pocket until you get a job. And at the same time, guess what? 
That's experience. You can break down, hey, I did this for this small business. I did this for this person. I did this for this other person. But if you show up and you say, well, I got a piece of paper. <laughs> it's just a piece of paper. It doesn't mean anything. It's going to be very hard for you to get a, a job in our position. All right. So anyways, guys, hopefully you guys like this video and I've given you some some good advice and, and to try to help you out. And again, I'm not trying to bring you down if you're getting your degree. It's just please do not graduate expecting that you're going to get a job because of this piece of paper. It just that's not how it works. OK, now, if you do need some help and you want somebody to help you out with the process of getting into the tech industry with alternative ways, you tried everything that's out there. But I guarantee you haven't tried codingphase.com. Guess what? Come in. Give it a chance. I can guarantee you this, that you're going to learn skills that are valuable for a job position, not learn how to code. We don't do learning how to code at coding phase. What we do is we learn skills for specific jobs. If that's something that catches your attention, check out the link in the description and leave a comment. You know, what do you guys think? Will this degree that this subscriber is getting make a difference or not?